Hello everyone, Brandon Nelson on Discord76 here and welcome to a brand new series. Today we are playing a Minecraft mod pack on the Twitch launcher known as Farming Crossing. Let's take a look at our starting stuff. We got some nice tools to begin our journey with. We also have the click and drag feature which is always amazing. And we'll also take this chest and these couple torches with us for a little starter thinger. So, um, oh we got a quest book. Let's see what we got y'all. Plus line, welcome package. Getting started. Craft yourself a wooden pickaxe and we'll provide a set of starter gear for your new adventure. Okay, I guess I don't need those two things. And whoop bam. Okay. Let's see what will happen there later. But we got a wooden pickaxe for now. Uh detect. There we go. And we get basically full set of stone and we get a loot chest. Alright, what happens next? Welcome package part two. Jess, hey, Jess the Beaver here. Thank you for signing up for the exciting Explorers Resettlement Package. For your convenience, I've included all the basic necessities and materials you'll need to build your new starter home a large but better wooden. I don't know what that word is, and I, I don't know if I should be ashamed. We interrupt this recording for a brief history of the Bedouin tent, brought to you by Tentacle. Because why not? Uh, so, looking through this long story short, um, a Bedouin was used for uh, more primitive men, uh, primarily nomads in the deserts. And it's made of sheep and goat skin. So that's interesting. Thank you very much, Tentacle. Uh, now I'm just gonna, gonna save that. Look, look at Tentacle later. You should first craft a. <laughs> You're the first craft a spell with drone. It's been a long day, okay. Uh, well, we get some Bedouin walls. We get a backpack, a mega torch, some chunk loaders, and a super tent mallet. Thanks, Jess. Oh, wait, there's more. Um, you should first craft a small Bedouin with six Bedouin walls, and after that, you should be able to figure it out from there. Feel free to set up wherever you'd like. The lands here are mostly unclaimed, and the natives are friendly. Just be careful at night. There are monsters. But that's all part of the explorer experience, no? I've also included the complimentary mega torch that will prevent monsters from coming nearby in case you don't want them bothering you while you're settling in. Now please check the box and have fun on your new adventure. That is mighty kind of you, Jess. Uh, getting paid. Jess, making a living as a new homer- no, uh, Okay. I can't read anymore. We'll have to set up our- our bedon walls first. Uh, we do have this loot chest though, which we get a signed carpenter. You can purchase copies of this furniture. Okay, we don't care. So it's just a random carpenter sign. Interesting. Um, well, this nice plains area looks nice and plain. Or plains, I guess. So this will be this spot for the tent. We should first craft a small Bedouin, okay. The heck do you spell Bedouin? There we go. We just need a crafting table, which I think I left right there. Perfect. And I think it looked like something. That. There we go. Small Bedouin. Maybe before I go on, I should look up how to pronounce that. Bedouin. 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 Got it. Alright, we got our Bedouin. So, um, now I'm guessing we just- ooh. Is this- is this what a Bedouin is supposed to look like? 
Or do we need more of the walls? I, I don't think... Oh! Oh my. Okay, well, that worked. Our first bed went up. I destroyed it. Come back. Whoa, um... I right clicked on what I thought was the door. Oh! Oh my, okay, I guess... I guess our Bedouin is, uh, a dimension. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. The crap was that? That sounded like a party noise. Like one of those things. <laughs> You know what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. Don't make me sound crazier than I am. He did it again. That wasn't it. Which of you has the, the party favor thing that goes <laughs> I need to know. Well, hello there. General Kenobi. Who are you? Camper. Sorry, I, I built my campsite very close to your house, and I've completed a challenge, apparently. Ooh, you can get a Swiss knife from him. That sounds like it would be important. Oh, uh, uh, I have a Bedouin right over there, so I'll be over there if you need me, I guess. Making a living as a new homeowner is important, especially if you're thinking of upscaling your home in the future, wink wink. There are many ways to make emeralds, so please do explore what works best for you. I look forward to congratulating you on your first paycheck. You're not going to tell me how to make the emerald? You're just going to say, make an emerald? Good luck. Uh, apparently we can turn a cheese wheel into two emeralds. Is that... Um, so let's just move on here. Clay is an essential building material, so I'd suggest you obtain it right away. It can be found at the bottom of ponds, rivers, and lakes. Once you have clay, you can make bricks for your new home and for crafting useful cooking tools to prepare food that will sustain you on your many adventures. Please do not tarry on this quest. Having the means to prepare food is important for survival. Have a stack of clay coming up. It's a beehive. Oh, beehive. Sorry, I had to. There's a village on my land. At the spot that I planted this tent five minutes ago, someone came and built an entire village next to it. Overnight. The nerve. Well, we do have this clay, so I'll turn that in for some brick, a sleeping bag, and a loot chest. And I suppose we should probably settle in for the night. Oh, that was a lot quicker loading. Good. And we'll place down our sleeping bag and go to some sleep. For some reason, I didn't record an outro, so I hope you all have enjoyed. And until next time, play on.